Hey everybody, David here, and today I want to talk about Sam Raimi uh, might be directing Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, if you don't know who Sam Raimi is, uh, he is the director of the original Spider-Man trilogy starring uh, Tobey Maguire, and uh, he also is well known for directing the Evil Dead trilogy with uh, Bruce Campbell as uh, as uh, <laughs> Ash, <laughs> right? Um, and then uh, he also directed Oz the Great and Powerful, which I actually enjoyed. Um, he produced also some television <laughs> classics, if you will, um, uh, such as Hercules, The Legendary Journeys, Xena, Warrior Princess. Uh, I, I believe he also did Spartacus. He produced Spartacus as well, I think. Uh, the uh, Speaking of Spartacus, rest in peace to Kirk Douglas. Uh, but the, the, um, the Spartacus I was thinking of was the more recent one, which I think lasted four seasons. And the original actor who played Spartacus also passed away, unfortunately, um, a bit at a very young age. Um, yeah, uh, Sam Raimi has directed a lot, and he's known for doing horror. And if you remember, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness was supposed to be a horror. Um, or at least they wanted to add some horror elements. And if anybody's going to add some uh, pop-up moments, as I like to refer to them as, which it seems like that's what Kevin Feige prefers over what was probably originally pitched... Um, it, it seems like he wants the movie to be fun, but with some moments that will have the audience pop up. Like Jurassic Park, you know, like, it's quiet, and then all of a sudden, uh, a raptor pops up from the bushes or something like that. A scare moment like that, that will be scary enough, but not too much to make the kids running out of the theater crying. Which I think maybe is what Scott Derrickson wanted to do, who knows. Uh, we'll never know the full details on why Scott Derrickson, what were the creative differences between him and Marvel, were until someone decides to speak out. But it seems like they left on good terms, and it sounds like they are using the story that uh, he pitched, or maybe Marvel wanted. I don't know how it works, uh, but Sam Raimi is now coming in. Uh, unfortunately, even though we seem to be getting a really cool director, which I'm pretty excited about, and I say that because uh, I was listening to SEN, uh, the Schmoes Entertainment Network, which I'm a huge fan of, uh, they they didn't seem so happy over there about, about Sam Raimi uh, joining. And I get why, because uh, the his Spider-Man movies seem a little outdated. Um, I will disagree with Spider-Man 2. I think Spider-Man 2 holds up, and I think out of all those old Spider-Man films, I think Spider-Man 2 feels the most like the MCU, and Kevin Feige, I believe, even came out one time and said that uh, Spider-Man 2 was one of the huge influences in tone on what they wanted the MCU to be. So, And you can see that when you watch that movie. Yeah, okay, sir, there are some campy moments, but there are, are moments where I can see how the MCU uh, was inspired by that film to, to gain a certain uh, tone, uh, if you will. Um, and of course, Jon Favreau helped with the tone as well of what the, of what the MCU shaped into. Uh, but there is a little bit of the Spider-Man 2-ness in there, and I say it out of all the movies that have come before the MCU started with Iron Man back in 2008, I really do think the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films could have easily been lumped into it if Sony had wanted to back then. And there, there was a, a deleted scene that came out last year, if people remember, where uh, it was the Nick Fury scene where he comes out of the shadows and tells Tony Stark, hey, you think you're the only superhero in the world? And he references mutants and Spider-Man, uh, which would have allowed the other studios, if they wanted to, to join in on the fun. Uh, but obviously they cut that scene out because they said, yeah, you know what, let's do our thing and let them do their things, um, which was a smarter decision. Um, and I think this is really cool. And if you go back and watch Spider-Man 2 as well, there is a little funny inside joke to Doctor Strange in that movie uh, where um, J. Jonah Jameson is trying to figure out a name for Doctor Octopus. 
and uh, his assistant, played by uh, Ted, Ted Ramey, who is Sam Raimi's brother, uh, Hoffman, he plays Hoffman in, in the Spider-Man trilogy, uh, he says, one of the suggestions he says is Doctor Strange, and J. Jonah Jameson says, hey, that's good, but it's taken. <laughs> so it's kind of poetic in a way uh, that Sam Raimi, who made a little, out of all the Marvel characters that he could have referenced, made a reference to Doctor Strange and is now getting to direct that character. Um, I think that's pretty cool if this all comes down to frustration, because right now it's just a rumor. But from what it sounds like, it sounds like it's very uh, strong rumors. It's one of those rumors that sounds like there's a lot of weight to it. So I'm very hopeful that uh, Sam Raimi will take the job and um, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what he'll do uh, under the leadership of Kevin Feige because will he want to be very creative or will he want to come in maybe this is a favor maybe he's coming into you know because this is a very last minute thing they aren't moving the date back or anything they they are bringing him in on a script that's already set to start filming this May so Maybe it's just to give his creative flair and add in a little bit of that horror element, uh, but not too much of it, like I was saying earlier. So who knows? On a sad note, unfortunately, Rachel McAdams will not be returning uh, to, <laughs> to Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And I'm going to say this. It, it's not a big deal for me. And I'm going to tell you why. I think her character was pointless in the first movie. Uh, I... I think they could have done that movie without a love interest because really, and going forward, I don't see what her character is going to be useful for. I think Strange is busy doing his job. He shouldn't have to worry about a love life. Uh, if he does get into a love life, it has to be somebody that comes to him, not that he has to go to. Long distant, long distant relationships rarely work. That's just the way it is. Uh, you don't hear too many of those relationships working. Maybe some people can make it work out there, but a lot of them don't really end up too uh, well. Uh, so I think uh, Rachel McAdams not returning is not a big deal. And look, if they ever do find a way to bring her back, uh, maybe because she still has a contract that says she's required to do two or three films, they could always bring her back in a future movie, not just the... Uh, uh, Doctor Strange movie that she could always pop up in, a, in an Avengers movie or somebody else's movie where maybe she could fit better uh, because currently uh, I just don't see the reason for Doctor Strange unless he has to go to the hospital again. That's the only reason it seems like they need her for when somebody needs surgery. Uh, so <laughs> write her out. You don't. Doctor Strange seems like he doesn't need a love interest. He seems like he's more interested in what he's taking care of right now, which is being the ultimate sorcerer or whatever it is. Uh, so with that being said, comment below, guys. Are you excited for Sam Raimi to take over this franchise, uh, to take over the Doctor Strange 2? Are you hoping it will happen? Uh, and what about Rachel McAdams? Do you think she'll come back? Do you want her back? I, I don't, like I said, I don't see a use for her. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe to my channel, especially if you're a huge fan to the MCU like I am, uh, or superhero movies in general. I love DC as well, and I love the Arrowverse. I love you know, I love superheroes. You know, I, I'll even go down to Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles. I superheroes are my jam. I love that stuff. So, do people even say jam anymore? Anyway, so with that being said, until next time, take care.